Time to build the fairy ring in the house. I should have done this a long time ago, but I'm finally doing it. So here we should have it available. Yep, 10 mushrooms, one fairy enchantment. Let's us build the fairy ring, which is awesome. So maybe I can stop using the slayer rings now to get to the fairy ring. And instead, I can just keep coming to my house. I do obviously still want the... Where is it? Superior garden. No, oh, just garden. I still want the level 95 one, which is the spirit tree and the fairy ring combined. But that's 90 construction, so... I'm technically still, how many levels? I need to be 87 for that because I can get plus eight boost. Yeah, that's a lot more construction, which is definitely doable. I have the mahogany logs for it, but just at the moment, all I really need is the fairy ring for Zora. It's looking pretty good, this house, man. I got myself the ornate pool. I have the fairy ring, and now I have the jewelry box as well. The only thing I'm missing, obviously, is the occult altar here, but I still need pharaoh scepter for that and quite a few other things, so that's still a while away. But maybe I'll get lucky during Pyramid Plunder when I go for 80 and get a Pharaoh Scepter. That would be pretty ideal. Finally going to get 85 Herbaler here. There we go. We unlock nothing really a Zami mix, but the cool thing is, is that it just looks a lot cooler than 84. 84 looks pretty terrible compared to 85, so that's good. But check this out. I'm gonna take out all my three dose potions, combine them into four dose, and we'll see how much it's worth. Quick decanting of all the potions, boom. All right, let's check this out. So price check of most of the vials or most of the potions in my bank, 44 mil worth of potions. Wow. That's really what happens when you don't sell anything. 2,400 super strengths, 4.4 mil, 1,100 super stores, 11 mil per potions, 8.9 mil. The Sarah Brews, 1,200 of those now, 7.2 mil. The Sand Fuse, only 78, but they're still 2.4 mil. Wow, Super Energy's 7.2 mil. Not bad, not bad. And I didn't even put the stamina in my bank in there either, so... Whew! Tab is saying 45.6 mil. Nice! Total bank value, 328 mil. I'm doing agility right now, and I'm just getting sick of seeing this plain, ugly, graceful color. I want to spice it up a little bit, okay? So we're going to talk to Osin over here. I know that we can technically get the white one in, but I haven't done the Lova... Lova Kenj favor, whatever it's called. So for right now, we're just going to spice it up by turning our graceful top and the graceful boots a different color. We're going to get that fresh baby blue color. So Piscarilius, thank you. And then the graceful as well. Well, the graceful boots as well. Piscarilius, please. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's check. What, what, what's this look like? Oh my. Oh, this is fr Oh, it's so nice. We're balling, baby. We're balling. What do you guys think? Should I change the hood? To blue too, or should I stick with white? Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, I really should probably go for the white graceful soon because it would look a lot better than the tannish one that I have right now. All I need to do, again, is get my Lovakinch favor up to 100% and I should be good. But they did say that they were thinking of actually bringing out the black graceful, which looks really, really cool. So when that does come out, I'm definitely going to get that recolored graceful. The thing is, I have to probably get a few more marks of grace before any of that happens but i think we have enough time we are about to finish something else off on this account that i don't have done on my main account and that is getting 100 percent favor in every single zaya house which is pretty cool we are one minecart check away from 100 percent, and then i'll have everything done which is sort of weird again i just was dreading doing lova Kenj, but i finally grinded out for a couple hours and we should be good so let's use the minecart control scroll on still I have the scroll. Please accept my gift, and we should be good. Can I go for a ride? Well, actually, let me just go away from this really quick, see if it says anything. Uh, you've gained the maximum favor for Lova Kench House. Speak to Lovada to contribute to the statue and prevent you losing Lova Kench House favor. So let's go talk to her, and we can finish it off. Lovada, what's up? What do you got for me? Hello. I'm looking for you, yes. Go to the statue, please. <laughs> there we go. Okay, center of Karen, go to the statue. Excellent, see you there. Okay, we should be done. Let's go to the center. All right, what, what do I do now? Just just talk to anybody? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy. Look at all these cute little architects here, man. Adorable. Wow. They do some good work. Wow. It's pretty cool, actually, not gonna lie. That's it, we finished. Architectural Alliance. Nice. All right, let's turn these white. Okay, they look a lot better. Come here, Austin. God here, Rick. I'd like to change it. Yes, please. I want the colors you're wearing. All right, it's all been changed now. Here we go. Oh, that looks fresh. It looks so much better, baby. <laughs> what do you guys think, man? <laughs> I just want to be a bit different, okay? 
I just wanted to be a bit different. Here we go. 80 agility finished after this obstacle. Man, I, whew. You guys know my stance on agility. That was terribly rough. Absolutely hate it. We can now use the relic, of course, but apparently you keep doing this until like 85 for the Marks of Grace. I don't know. Taverly Dungeon Spike Blade Jump. But the big thing is that we can boost up to the, what is it, level 85? Elven Overpass Advanced Cliffside Scramble. There it is. The final level we needed for the Western Elite Province Diaries. Western Province Elite Diaries. Who knows? There's so many different ways to say it. We finished that off 80 Thieving. You can now pickpocket heroes, but we need to boost up to pickpocket elves, I believe. Just double check that. Yep, elf is 85. We can boost up with the spicy stew and pickpocket an elf now. Got the plus five boost. Let's pickpocket her quick before it runs out. There we go. Another elite task complete. Oh my god. How much XP for that? Was that was that a 353 XP drop I saw right there? Let me do another one really quick. That's pretty great. Okay, well, <laughs> it ran out. Come on. Let's boost up for this shortcut now. Plus five agility. Should be the final one we need, except for the longbow, the, the fletching one. Cool, that one's done. Come here, little gnome child. Let me see the upgrade. All the elite tasks is done. I can see that. Thank you. Uh, upgraded the Western Banner, which is now the Western Banner 4. Two Chompy Birds and I'll appear every single time and have the chance of dropping the pet. Steve rewards you with Slayer assignments with more points. And Rance will provide you with... Wait, where's the big one? Ah, there we go. Okay, you may resurrect once per day while battering, battling Zora. Oh, feels so good. I've been working towards that for so long. We're going to use the XP lamp on Herblore because, yeah, it's annoying. It's actually a nice chunk. 50k Herblore XP. <laughs> Beautiful. And that's it. We finished it. Gonna go ahead and throw all these Ring of Recoils into my Ring of Suffering. Let's just use all 30 of them. 1,003 recoil charges. Nice. We have a Ring of Suffering R. And the second piece of Xanadrillier, the Necklace of Anguish as well. And of course, we still need 93 crafting for the third one. So that might be a while. What is this clue scroll, dude? This is the worst clue I've ever gotten on any of my accounts. 17k hard clue scroll, bro. I just took the biggest L on RuneScape for that. Oh, man. That is rough. <laughs> nice. Shield left half. We're making the uh, we're making the shield in Varrock again, boys. You know what it is. Where is it? Yeah, Lucky I'm playing. It's mine. Please catch it. Third age from a Lucky I'm playing. First time ever on stream. Oh, green elegance. Actually, not too bad, dude. I think I can put that in my costume box in my house. I'll take it. Thank you for calling that out. Ooh. Red dehyde chaps gold. I even can get that from this. I thought that was a medium clue, so. Hey, at least we got something gold. That's pretty cool. It's unique. Nice and easy. 82 prayer coming in. We don't unlock anything, but we are now, I think, one prayer level. Or pretty much any combat level that we get. Any, any melee or magic or prayer. We're going to get 120 combat, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I just want to update you guys on that. 82 prayer. So, we used about 4,000 gold ore to get two smithing levels, which is actually a lot less than I thought, unfortunately. But it's okay. 75 smithing. Halfway to 80. Not really. Almost. Sort of. We can still only make Addy stuff, unfortunately. But I just want to get some levels out of the way because I'm grinding to a 2,000 total at the moment. I've been doing some titty farming to get myself the seed box on this account. And I think that this batch of Lagavano fruits... I missed one. I was close to a perfect run, but I missed one of them. This will get me to, I think, 82 farming. So let's just double check. There we go. 34k XP drop. That looks really, really nice. I like that. And uh, yeah, there we go. 82. What can we do? Absolutely nothing. That's That hurts. That being said, I still have eight more runs to do for points, I think, maybe nine more. So by the time I finish off this minigame, I need 250 points for the seed box. And I may do 50 more points for the auto weed as well, because that's really, really useful. Then I should have 83, which is the spirit tree level, so that's really nice. This farm is quite annoying, but you do get some decent farming XP out of it. And we're going to get 83 farming now off this sack of Lagavan Novado fruits, which is great. Thank you. 83 farming. Which means we can now grow spirit trees and get double magic roots. Now the spirit tree thing is absolutely awesome. I have like 17 seeds in my bank. So it's some pretty good farming XP. I don't think I can plant one in my house yet. But I can start planting them around the world. Which is great. I think I'm going to pick between either Port Serum or Zaya. I think one of those two is probably the best. If there is a great spot to plant a spirit tree you guys know of. For Iron Man especially. Please let me know in the comments. But there we go. 83 farming. And I still have like... 
I think three more, four more runs to go here and I finish everything I need. Finally finished with Tithe Farm, Titty Farm, whatever you want to call it, man. Let's deposit this final 100 fruits that we have. And there we go, 302 points, 34,000 farming XP. Nice. I think that this is all I really need from Tithe Farm. I, I could come back in the future. I'm not really sure if it's worth getting, you know, Gricola's can or any of the farming outfit pieces. Or I guess the grapes might be useful for the future too. I'm not totally sure. You guys have to let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm going to buy the seed box and I'm going to buy the auto weed. That feels really good to get out of the way. I think that 300 points took me like four or five hours or so. Once you get used to it, it's uh, it's sort of easy. Just very click intensive and repetitive. Your typical RuneScape content. I wish they could improve it somehow, but whatever. We finally finished it and now we have the seed box and auto weed. Nice. Wow.